What's up guys, it's Ricky, this is reality show. So I don't know if you guys have seen this post by Bushiri where he was actually mocking South African preachers for the churches being closed down. It's the reality show, we're going to talk about that particular post. We're going to read it and <laughs> you try and pick the brain of... Hey, Uncle Bushiri over there. If it's the first time over here, we are the Rich Reality Show. We do daily Christian commentary videos. Other videos that are done today, they'll be down in the pink comments. Some very hectic episodes down over there. So go check them out uh, when you're done. And hey, don't be part of the 60%. Hey, I know we're coming down to 57% of people that are watching not subscribed. Do decide to subscribe. If you don't like it later on, you can always subscribe. So I'm going to read you this particular post. I'm going to put it up here. And basically the post says, when me and my wife went... Uh, through extreme persecution that's what he says he calls it persecution you know he was wrong in the law but never mind he says it's persecution case of the media and all those kind of stuff he says some holy men of god could not hold it uh, but came out with a direct verdict uh, convicted that it was god himself shutting down fake churches and uh, writing out the fake pastor so and so to say he says when the pandemic came so in comparison eh? In, compar <laughs> in comparison to the first paragraph when the pandemic came government ruled that churches must uh, close down some men of God were the first to think it was an attack from the devil when the police started arresting and harassing them too okay they declared it that it was the doing of evil. so basically what he is doing is going on the verge on the on the verge of saying they were hypocrites mm. are really hypocrites you were out there uh, ruling judgment over him while as now when that very same government decides to do the opposite for you guys now you guys want to take the other side now last paragraph here says it is completely not godly to rejoice when any church or no when a false prophet goes bye bye should we not say you know you went okay now he went and he said <laughs> you went and he said when he got to malawi that it was god that told him malawi is the new place they should establish so you see you went according to your words you went because god told you to now even though you were now putting god in your criminal activity it's different when the entire country is in a pandemic and they're having to deal with like the health departments and all these kind of things where they are now saying you know when we need to kind of restrict how much people are gathering the situations are different the people that are being arrested they are doing so they are being arrested because they are refusing to shut down they are refusing to go online which was different for you it is not uh, godly to do so and he says we are one uh, no we, we are not one <laughs> he says our god is one <laughs> no i don't know your god that's why they, they say you know the god of my papa no, no no i don't know that god because uh, we never really got acquainted he said the holy spirit is one i believe that the the church is under a siege uh, no under the false prophet's siege the the false prophets are the problem People like you that they say that they walk on the air, people like you that edited wings of, uh, of angels into a church service, it says, let us step down from the judgment seat and show love towards one another. Now, that is very funny. You know, when you go into a restaurant, you decide whether you like McDonald's or you like KFC. Uh, either way, you are making a judgment of what you like or what you don't. The same way you make a judgment of what is true and what is false. Uh, let us step down from the judgment seat. That, that, what you are asking us to do is to switch off our conscience. That's what you are asking us to do. We, we made a decision to say, no, this leadership is not really biblical. <laughs> you understand? Step down from the judgment seat. No, no, it's not a judgment seat. It is a determination of what is true and what is false that made us to separate ourselves from you. Let's be very clear. Ne? So the reason why we have to be clear is because he's mudding it up. You know mud, it's when you mix water <laughs> and essential with a non-essential. <laughs> okay? And so, so for the body. So when you mix these two things, they, they now become of no use. Now maybe you could build a mud house over there in the village and the whole nine yards might be a thing. But either way, if you mixed something with something else, 
it is no longer in its first form. As a matter of fact, it can no longer work for its first use. Do the same with truth. I know how truth tastes like. And if it's not truth, I know that this is not the same food of which I was receiving. They, they, they were not judging you on the basis of how wrong they perceived their rights to be infringed. The people that are fighting the lockdown are fighting how they feel their rights are infringed. Okay? It's a different case. You had criminal cases. They don't have criminal cases. They're just in disagreement with whether the lockdown is infringing on their rights. The two things are different. The government didn't offend you. It was you that was in the wrong. And the government had to protect its people from individuals like you. So people like this, you have to, you have to constantly drum down what exactly is being said and what's far from truth from what's been said so we had to just put some of this check on somebody a bit I mean, he's out here remember the truth must you know the truth light darkness the two are separate that's why when god divided the two of them he said and he saw that it was good and so we ought to separate the other people that say when you hear a person saying no don't be judgmental no they are a baby <clears throat> they don't know that it's biblical to say this is left, this is right. I like a green cap. I got a back, I got the, a green background. You know, it's it's facts. There's, there's green there, there's, there's white there. It's it's separation of one over the other. No, no, no. no. <laughs> so I'll see you later on. Check out the other videos down in the pin comments and I'll see you later. You'll be blessed. Salute.